Hi, Bob Thompson for Smartphone Matters. Today we're going to take a look at some speed test results. On the left, I have an iPhone 6 that is using the Verizon LTE network. On the right, I have an iPhone 6 that's using the Straight Talk ATT network. I'm going to run three speed tests on each device and we can compare the results when it's done. One thing that I did want to point out is that the iPhone 6s on the left is using the Verizon network, not the Straight Talk Verizon network, while the iPhone 6 on the right is using the Straight Talk ATT network. I wanted to make sure that was clear because uh, if you are using the Straight Talk Verizon network, you may see very different speed test results. So I'm just going to uh, continue to run these tests until we have three results from each network, and then we can compare them and see how we did. I'm running these uh, tests in the same office that I've run a number of my other speed tests in. Uh, typically there's a pretty good cell phone signal uh, at this location and I've did some other videos comparing uh, Straight Talk ATT and Google Project Fi and I think a few other carriers here. You may notice a few uh, jump cuts in the video. I uh, tried to remove out incoming uh, text messages that were being displayed on the phones while the tests were running. So if you see a, a quick jump in the video, it was probably I was just editing out a, a message or notification flashing across the top. Okay, we're almost done here with our three tests. Let's just give this a second to finish up and then we can take a look at the results. Starting on the left with the iPhone 6S on the Verizon LTE network, we'll start from the bottom. We had a download speed of 17.89 megabits per second, an upload speed of 0.39 megabits per second, and a ping time of 56 milliseconds. The second test yielded a download speed of 13.82 megabits per second, an upload speed of 0.4 megabits per second and a ping time of 57 milliseconds. Finally, for the third test, we saw a download speed of 18.19 megabits per second and upload speed of 0.46 megabits per second and a ping time of 73 milliseconds. Okay, let's take a look at the speed test results from the Straight Talk ATT network. Uh, starting with the first test, we had a download speed of 18.88 megabits per second, an upload speed of 13.48 megabits per second, and a ping time of 90 milliseconds. For the second test, we had a download speed of 20.01 megabits per second, an upload speed of 13.46 megabits per second, and a ping time of 90 milliseconds. For the third and final test, we had a download speed of 18.37 megabits per second, an upload speed of 13.58 megabits per second, and a ping time of 90 milliseconds. Okay, so what can we conclude by looking at these results? Well, uh, the first conclusion is that the Straight Talk ATT network showed faster download speeds. Not by a significant amount, uh, but they definitely were faster. The uh, big surprise is in the upload speeds. We can see that for the Verizon LTE network, we uh, never saw an upload speed that even got near 0.5 megabits per second up. So this is very slow. If we compare that to the upload speeds that we're seeing on the Straight Talk ATT network, uh, they're all in the 13 to 14 megabits per second up uh, range. That means that if you're trying to do things like social media, upload photos and videos from your phone over the cellular network, you would see a lot better performance. Um, finally, if we look at the ping times, we see that the ping times are a little bit lower on the Verizon network, indicating that it is a little bit more responsive. Again, a uh, lower ping time is a better result, meaning that uh, the network is responding to your requests a little bit faster. Finally, I just want to point out that uh, speed test results are usually highly subjective. They change uh, uh, quite a bit through the different times of the day and uh, depending on your location. Uh, but uh, people do like to see these uh, comparisons, so that's why I make the videos doing them. 
And in this case, uh, we're seeing better performance, at least in my area at this time of day, with the Straight Talk ATT network. My guess is you would see about the same results if you were using the uh, ATT network uh, from ATT as well. All right, well, I think that's going to be it for this video. So uh, if you found it useful, give us a like on YouTube. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to the Smartphone Matters YouTube channel. If you have any comments and questions, you can leave them below or head on over to the companion article on Smartphone Matters and leave a reply there. Thanks for watching.